Hello and welcome to the joint production from the Downtown Podcast and the TravelJoint.com. I'm Akil the Real Deal. Yeah, thanks, Kiel, and I'm Andy from The Travel Joint. We're really excited to be joined at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino by Andrew W.K. Uh, I'm very pleased to be here. Thanks so much, Andrew. What brings Thank you to you. Las Vegas? Well, uh, as you're aware, and I believe everyone is, uh, that's uh, been kind enough to include me in today's program, I have been coming here for my first ever official Las Vegas residency. Uh, it's occurring at the Hard Rock on a monthly basis, uh, the first Saturday of every month, um, more or less, which started back in uh, February. Now it's March, this will be my second uh, DJ set tonight. And that is uh, what I'm doing. I'm DJing party music right out in the center of the casino, which is very exciting. I'm not really a professional DJ, but I do know how to play CDs, and that's, I guess, you know, <laughs> good enough for, for me. Um, and for them, I get to play a lot of my favorite rock songs in the spirit of the hard rock uh, atmosphere, and uh, I have two more after this, and I've really been having a ball. What's the difference between a good party and a great party? Oh, well, uh, th that level of enthusiasm uh, <laughs> that you just used to say the word great, that kicks it into a uh, an automatic party increase, in my opinion. <laughs> um, it starts with the attitude, it starts with the mindset, uh, meaning you can almost go into just about any situation, and with that enthusiasm, that energized enthusiasm. You can turn a party into a good party, into a great party, into a phenomenal party, into a life-changing, once in a, in a million kind of party, and then do it again. So it's about rising above your lowest self and trying to find the party in as many places as you can. I see. Wow. So the party is not about the location. Ideally, ideally, you want to have that um, that kind of power, that inner power to find it in your... Basically, wherever you are is where the party is. Now, um, the travel joint's heading up to the northwest, specific, okay. specifically uh, Oregon, Northern California. All right, all right. And a bit of Washington State, too. Okay. Now, you say a party can happen anywhere. Yes, um, well, just about. Just about I anywhere. Think. <laughs> I think, so far. Great. Now, you've had a short trip or two up to that area. Yes. Is it also entirely built for a great party? Well, I've been there many times, and I've always enjoyed it. And I actually, once you mentioned California, I, I remember that uh, I was born in the Northern California area. I had forgotten that. <laughs> um, it, it often is something I forget because I only lived there for a few years. Um, but in Stanford, Palo Alto, uh, the San Francisco area, uh, where else? Um, Santa Cruz. I don't know how northern that really is, but it's more northern than some of the places that are more southern. That is true. That I know. Um, when you're more northern than southern, then you're in the northern area of a place. It's very, that, that is how I figure out basic things. Like, someone says you're in the northern region of an area, I say, okay, then clearly I'm higher up than the southern region. Um, and that area, you know, there's, there's great things there. There's a unique atmosphere. What I really like, uh, when you especially go up f further north, like uh, Washington, Oregon, whatnot, is that it gets very overcast, mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of sun. With all due respect to Las Vegas and these desert atmospheres, um, I understand and I appreciate people's love for the sun. I've always chided the sun, <laughs> um, chided against it, scolded it for coming out. Um, I want it buried beneath cloud cover so it diffuses into a nice gray obliriness uh, that matches my preferred, um, I guess, kind of color palette. Wow. Well, the sun is round as is pizza. Now, you have a pretty that's big true. square. And the travel joint, we've done extensive work on the best pizzas around oh, the country. Good. That's good. You have a big spot in Chicago concerning pizza. Is that right? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for asking about this. I have been asked to be the keynote speaker at uh, Chicago's, I believe, first ever pizza summit. Wow. So it's a summit, I mean, I immediately imagine a pizza mountain, um, maybe made out of sort of, uh, you know, the piles of pizza or wedges or uh, the slices are triangular, but you can mound them up into some kind of uh, hill. Uh, and when you crest the hill, you know, and look down and see all that pizza beneath you, that's gotta be a, you know, that's a high point for me at least. So I'll be eating pizza, I'll be talking about pizza and just enjoying pizza in general. And much like you said, it is round like the sun and so many things that are, um, Good about life are round. That's right, and I think we've come full circle here this afternoon. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. <laughs> you got it. My pleasure. Hey, thank you. <laughs> this has been Andrew WK on the Downtown Podcast combined with the TravelJoint.com. <laughs>